Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. So yeah. you had some commotion um, <laughs> back to the lighter side of life. <laughs> Tell us the commotion okay. at your, in your neighborhood today. So <laughs> Johnny went with his brother to go get some plywood in his brother's van so they could strap it to the top. Cause you know, Johnny drives the little tiny Corolla. So sure. if he needs a piece of plywood, he'll, he'll get one of the brothers to go mm-hmm. anyways. So <laughs> <laughs> his brother drives this older van, right? And I'm sitting on the back porch, and I'm like, who is honking like that on our main road? It was like, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and then you could tell it was, like, coming up our road, and then it's, like, in front of our house, and it's just like, bang, like, so loud. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I go to the front, and it's Johnny and his brother in the van, and he's just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so they drove from like two towns away with his horn doing that. <laughs> he turned off the car. It was fine. It went off. He's like, I don't know this damn van, you know? <laughs> so he's like looking like, where's the fuse, you know? So then, you know, he's getting ready to leave. And Johnny's like, wait, my car's at your house. You got to take me to your house. And <laughs> they get a little, he lives like up the road and around the corner. And it's like, you hear like right when they get up around the corner. <laughs> burp, burp. And I was like, oh, here we go again. It was really funny. I think that is some of the funniest videos Ugh. I've ever seen are people that reconnected. Yes. So every time they hit the brakes, the you break. can see the people yes. or the gas, whatever it is. And yeah. so it's just honking. Oh, oh it's, it's so, so funny. funny. So funny. So very funny. So that gave us a good laugh for the yeah, day. Absolutely. All the neighbors came out like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so great. Anyways. I mean, it's like, shoot, you know, you got to get that fixed, but still. So I very know. funny. It's so funny. So I'm looking up ideas to okay. talk about today because yeah. I'm at a loss. You didn't have any? I really didn't have any. Of course, oh. something would happen at the store. I'm like, ooh, we're going to talk about that. But it would take like a whole one minute and then we'd be done. And oh. we would go from but an you hour never to know. 30 minutes could, to 15 it seconds. It could segue That's, into something it's else. It's so true. You never it's know. It's so very true. And of course, yeah. every story, I need to start writing it down. I've been spending yeah. so much time in stores. Yeah. We all have. Yeah. And I need to write them down because things have happened. Yeah. And I forget to write them down. I Me do have too. one story yeah. that... I was helping out in a bakery and in between, it was kind of in between a bakery and deli. So I'm fixing a few things and I, I know some of the people that work behind the deli and they had just gone back because one went on break and then the other one came in and she was washing her hands behind the wall. So you yeah. couldn't really see her. Yeah. So a customer walks up, he's waiting. I'm telling you, he waited 12 seconds. Oh God. Okay. And that was already it. pissed off. Um, he yelled out, excuse me, you have customers out here oh, and put his God. arms out and was looking at the woman washing her hands. She walked out and she looked at him. She took a deep breath. Cause I was like, Oh, here we go. And here she was like, I was washing my hands because you know what? I just went to the bathroom. I don't think you want my on your meat. <laughs> And no one was walking around. He you was know, just, and he was like, you're right. I am so sorry. And she was like, listen, and she kind of kept going off, yeah, you know? Good. And he was like, I said, I was sorry. And she was like, 12 seconds. You were standing there for 12. <laughs> I saw you. I nodded. I smiled 12 seconds. <laughs> she was, that was, I'm got my hands are going. That's how she was going. Her oh, hands were going. God. She was pointing at him. And I was like, okay. All right. I'm okay. like the most patient person ever. Like we have to drop supplies off to the meat counter all oh, the yeah. time for oh, yeah. shit we rep, you know? Oh, yeah. And I'm just like standing there waiting <laughs> waiting i'm like i guess i'll i'll check snapchat while i'm here <laughs> waiting and they're like oh my god i'm so sorry i didn't i'm like it's fine yeah i'm in no hurry i'm here for 
the next three hours. Yeah. It's fine. That's exactly <laughs> how I am. I'll go to like, I'll just wait instead of like walking behind the counter. If I'm not really familiar with yeah. the store. Cause yes. a lot of times they go, who is yeah. this? You who know, are you? who are you? And In I, plain clothing with yeah. no name badge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have one now. Yay. <laughs> it's made my life a lot easier, but yeah, I'm, and I, I am that person too. I will wait and wait and wait. And all of a sudden yeah. they come up. They're like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no worries. Like I yeah. never say anything. And you're like, I, I don't just, need anything. I just need to come back there. Yeah. Like, maybe have a little more patience with yeah. everyone in these stores. That's all I guess is the point. I need to learn more patience with driving. That's yeah. where I, we have so many driving stories, don't we? God dang today mm-hmm. on the way home. You know what? It was cause I worked kind of later. Oh yeah. And coming home in like, you know, usually I'm on my way home by two o'clock or mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. And today it was like three 30 and holy shit. It makes a big difference. And there's like, okay, let me tell you something, which I know this doesn't pertain to any of you that listen, but if you're retired, don't go out in your little convertible for an afternoon cruise at 3.30 doing five under. Yeah. You're just pissing people off. You do have some retirees that listen. So don't do that. Don't do that. (laughs) I was so mad at this guy and he's got his big old handicap placard hanging and he's got this sporty little convertible, and he's just doing, you know, 38 and a 40. <laughs> and it's like, bro, we're trying to do 55 through here and get home. Get the hell out of the way. And anytime somebody would cut over in front of him to get, you know, because he's keeping pace with this, like, tree trimming truck next to him. <laughs> and he would, like, slam on the brakes, like, every time somebody would cut in front of him. And it's like, do you get the hint yet? You yeah, know, like, yeah. go faster or go away. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. <laughs> I think that is not that I should ever speak because I'm not a perfect driver, but one of my pet peeves is when people ride next to oh. each other, someone go faster or slower. Yeah. Well, okay. If you're in the right lane, you, you can do whatever and you you're want. You're doing, yeah, true. you know, five, 10 over you have it. And if the person in the left lane is keeping pace with you, just flip them off. Yeah. The person in the left flip lane is in off. the wrong. Cause it's yeah. for passing. Yep. It's you're right. Passing. You're right. Don't mm-hmm. sit there. Yeah. Don't camp in the left lane. Camp in the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we ha- I can't remember what question we asked. We asked so many different. We have different surveys and fun, fun stuff yeah. on on Facebook. And <laughs> I can't even remember what question I asked. And someone wrote, "Does a bear shit in the woods?" Oh, and yeah. I was just like, "I freaking love that." I've never said that, and I haven't heard that in so long. But it was so funny. Uh, so and then of funny. course because we laughed at it, and I was like whatever and said it out loud to somebody now i'm getting memes with like oh, pictures of bears well, doing that you, you know like, oh brother there's your answer oh brother of yes, course they, they do. do so i again i was looking up things to to talk about and i thought man is there a re- national retail day or is there any kind of national days that celebrate us yeah we know that there are but we don't get the day off no we don't really get celebrated, no. right? So it's I, not a paid I just holiday. thought it's not a paid holiday. I mean, Labor Day is for everyone, yeah. right? So, uh, you know, set that aside. Yeah, but wait, how many people in retail still work? This on is Labor very Day? true. That was a very <laughs> dumb thing for me to say. You are right. I have worked many Mondays. You know, I'm thinking at least you get paid time and a half. Yeah, that's that. Actually, you're you're right. You know, Memorial You'll Day get, and Fourth of July. You get an July extra and... thirty cents on your paycheck for so, working all that. <laughs> again, you just proved the point that there is no holiday no. in retail. Mm-hmm. Thank you. No. That was perfect. Yeah. So I put National Day of Retail in the chat GPT. Yeah. And it said the National Day of Retail is celebrated in the U.S. on the third. Wednesday of October. On a Wednesday. Third, well, retail, we work weekends. Yeah. Sometimes we have Tuesday, Wednesdays off, or where we work, a lot of the managers have Thursday off because then they work through the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, oh, it's established by the National Retail Federation to honor the importance of the retail industry and the millions, millions. Millions. Of people who work in it. The day serves as an opportunity to recognize the contributions of retail to the economy. Has Does anyone know that that's even a thing? I doubt it. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Maybe they have pizza that day. It also highlights innovation and resilience of businesses in the sector. I didn't know that. Oh, the resilience of price gouging. <laughs> <laughs> Getting beat up by During customers. During a national and- pandemic. <laughs> God, those stores, you're just so resilient. I can't believe you made it through. Retail is one of the largest employers in many countries and plays a significant role in the economy. I Yeah. 
we just, there's all a lot of us. There's a yeah. lot of us. Yeah. So then I asked, it, how do we celebrate a National D- Day of Retail? So I thought maybe I would oh. laugh with you on this. Yeah. Because, again, this is just a, a robot telling us yeah. how to celebrate. It can take various forms, especially depending on whether you're part of the retail industry. So here we go. Employee appreciation. Mm, pizza host party. Host an appreciation event. Pizza party. Celebrate your retail team with a lunch, team building activity, or award ceremony. Pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> Recognition programs offer bonuses. Pizza. <laughs> rewards. Also pizza. Or public recognition for employees who excel in customer service or sales. They write on the pizza box. (laughs) (laughs) You get your own pizza. How about employee shout outs? I mean, we get shouted out at. (laughs) (laughs) Remember when we used to do the daily huddles? Yes. Yeah. And they would be like, oh, my God, this person did this. And we all be like, yay. And I would always clap the longest. And I'd be like, oh, nobody else is clapping still. <laughs> I'm proud of you, so-and-so, for whatever you did. And what what, what kind of recognition would it be? I don't Different know. Different percentages or? It would, I, I remember, like, the remember. speed of the cashiers and stuff. That was Yeah, we never even talked about that. It was just up on the board. Because I would be the winner of that every week. Or would it be the survey that comes at the bottom of the receipt? Oh, would that possibly. be something that like, we would celebrate? Or the secret shoppers. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that was a really big deal. Yeah. That was a really big deal. I think they got rid of those. I the, feel the like. The secret shoppers, we talked about it three years ago probably yeah. when it was fresh in our minds. Yeah. That they would go to different departments and they would ask certain questions. Yeah. And if you didn't answer correctly, you would pass or fail, yeah. right? Or if Were you, you yeah. greeted within five seconds of walking up to the counter or did they acknowledge you? Yeah, yep. Did any other employee greet you while you were walking through the store, right? It was something like that. And at the end, it was always the cashiers. Always. Did they ask you if you found everything? Yeah. Yeah, right. The cashiers were the uh, win or lose of the whole thing, probably. I would say it was a 50-50 shot. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Did they check the bottom of your basket? Hell no. They didn't care if you stole pop and water. I feel like our T-bone old steaks. <laughs> favorite store director would mention what happened. And even if someone failed, he'd be like, so great job at the deli. <laughs> Thumbs up to the meat department. <laughs> what happened at the front uh, end? Yes. Got to work on that. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> it was like kind of like a positive, like, oops. And then like, I'd go run to the board and be like, who failed their <laughs> mystery shop? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> and it was always like name badge on backwards or no yes. name tag, right? Yes. <laughs> so you'd have to try and guess who yes. they went to. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. I got Stupid so name sick of asking that question. Did you find everything okay? Because everybody wants to be clever. Just stop. I know. Say yes or no. It would be like, well, if I didn't, it's probably because you're out of it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Or they'd say, I found way more than I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, me too. I have no paycheck. I just spend it all here. So how else do we celebrate retail, National Retail Day? Customer engagement would be special promotions or discounts. Oh, let's reward the customer. <laughs> <laughs> Offer special sales or deals for customers to celebrate oh, your yes. day. Yes. Yes. Oh, how Let's about customer appreciation <laughs> events? That to me, it like blew my mind. I'm like, that's not customer appreciation. It's not, you know, it's yeah. National Retail Day. Yeah. Well, okay. So National Retail Day, I get what it's saying. No. Dumb. No. Loyalty rewards. But you know what's funny is loyalty rewards are everywhere now. Yeah. Do you have the app? Every time you go through fast food, I get yeah. a coffee at McDonald's or Dunkin'. Are you going to be using the mobile app today? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. You're going to take my credit card. Even Starbucks. Oh, my God. Remember I told you I that one guy? I freaking love the rewards at Starbucks. I know. Well, I told that one guy, like, oh, yeah, I think I have it on my phone, but I don't use it. And he's like, oh, no problem. And he, like, scans his own. <laughs> Good for you, he buddy. He gets a free coffee every Good day. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to say where ever. <laughs> How about community involvement? Partner with local organizations to create events that give back to the community. Why would we do that? Oh, we don't. Here, we want to rest we, on our day off. We love you so much. Let's create some volunteer work for you. <laughs> Help the community. 
You know, I used to vol- and this you're gonna laugh at me. That's where my kids get it from. So oh, <laughs> I when I when we first met, I was working part time, then I also was volunteering at a place in Crystal Lake. Yeah. And it actually did get too much. Because I wasn't well, getting yeah. paid at my place of work or at the no. volunteer. It yeah. was very close. I was like, meh. Yeah. Just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I you know what? And I'm such a I'm such a bitch for saying this. My volunteer work is paying my property taxes. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like this billion dollar corporation like McDonald's. Well, you know what? I would donate to Ronald McDonald House because I personally know people who have used it. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. other places, they're like, oh, do you want to donate to breast cancer? No, no, <laughs> I don't. You are a billion dollar a year company. You donate to them. You know, I have a hard time donating to St. Jude's be- only because I read an article. Yeah. And because it was out there, I'm sure it was true, that- a lot of the donations go back into their advertising. Right. Yeah. And so I, I didn't want that. I wanted to go to the children yeah. or if to the I'm doctors make a donation, or whatever or then, the research. Yeah. I'm going to make it in my own name and choose where it goes. You sure. Know? Sure. I'm not helping you pay your taxes on your donation. Right. You know? Right. Or your advertisements yeah. or whatever it Screw is. Screw you. So, yeah. Screw yeah. you. Do you have a favorite Burger organization King. that you donate to, if you don't mind me asking? No. Yeah. I, I don't. don't have a favorite right now no. either. Yeah. And you know what I get a lot of calls for? And I think it's a scam. This is a new one. Oh. It's the... Uh, Illinois State Police. Yes, that's it's a like scam. A, it's a pre-recorded. Hey, this is Officer blah 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 or Sergeant blah, blah, Lieutenant. I don't even know. I don't listen to it. I right. hang up. Yeah, but it feels so scammy. I'm like, this isn't right. You know what you could do if you appreciate it and want to do that kind of thing is shop with the cop or coffee. Right. Uh, cop on the roof. Cop on the roof. Yeah, yeah. that's a big one. That's yeah. a big one. Duncan has that at every Duncan. Yeah. I think it's you know for yeah. the states or whatever. Yeah. If you don't look it up, it's it's fun. It's good. They actually stand on the roof and they're there taking your order. Yeah. That's neat because then you're donating to them. Yeah. Then what you about, know it's for real. I think. What about uh, Bestie's daughter just had yes, donation request? She did. That's yeah. for school. Yeah. So that's probably you know I'd rather do that. Yep. Yep. She had Stays a goal local. and I made sure she got to the goal yeah. and I think she's over it. <laughs> good. I was she, like, let's see if she can get to number three. Yeah. <laughs> did you? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All our nieces and nephews are going to win everything. Yes. There is no participation. Dude, I bought so much popcorn from <laughs> like the Boy Scouts. Oh, yes. So many Girl Scout cookies. Yes. I'm like, I want you to be number one. Because I remember growing up, which we could talk about this on anxiety. Yes. We had a fundraiser and all the family ordered pies, right? Yeah. Paid for them. My mom never gave them out. We oh. had pies in like... Like, what are those apple turnovers oh, and stuff okay. like that stocked in the freezer? My mom never gave them back to the family. Though. Oh, really? That's freaking awesome. My aunt was like, because I think I came around with another fundraiser. She was like, no, I never even got the pies I ordered. <laughs> you know what happens to me is I forget. Yes. The the football team will come around yeah. and, you know, they'll sell stuff or whatever. They've been doing it for years because they all grew up now and right. now they're having their own kids. Right. And they will come over. And then, like, three months later, yeah. you know, two weeks before Christmas, they come back with my stuff. I'm like, I totally oh. forgot I ordered all oh, this. Oh, fuck. Wrapping paper. Yeah. I just bought wrapping paper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think that's what I bought from Bestie's daughter like was a, like a whole thing of a $36 like, roll of yeah, wrapping paper. Definitely. And it wraps maybe a shirt box because, <laughs> you know, it's fundraising. It's like six square And I'm inches. such a sucker for that kind of stuff. I get so excited for it. And I forget that it's a quote unquote fundraiser, yeah, which means you're yeah. basically just giving money to the yeah, school. Yeah. And so it'll come and they'll give it to me and I'll just be like, this is so exciting. And it's literally like one small half cup of popcorn. I'm like, oh man, now I got to wait till next year. I would get so mad at like the boxes of chocolate in the picture. It looks so big and it's just like four six squares. chocolates. <laughs> You're like, damn it. It's like those little petite, uh, what are those called? Pettifors? Pettifors, pettifors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get four of them in there. Ew, and they're always awful. It's like the (laughs) worst. That is something that I remember from childhood. I can't remember if it was my aunt, my godmother, or my grandma, but they had a tree, like, you know, like a 
plastic tree and those pedophores would yeah. be on it. And, you know, every time I would be hoping <laughs> that it would taste good because I love maybe, sugar. Maybe and I'd go grab the, the mint green one, you know, the color. It was never mint. Or I'd go grab the pink one or the one with the purple flower. They all tasted the same and left a bad taste in my mouth. And I'd be like, what are you doing? You're like, are you sure this isn't hand soap? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure this isn't a Yankee candle? <laughs> Every time. Such a good memory. Huh. And so now because I have that memory, I will purposely buy a four pack and eat one and yeah. be like, why do I do this yeah. to myself? You're it's such like, a weird cake. Never change. Never change. Good to know. I, it's so unique. It's, there's uh, nothing else like it. I, feel I don't like think I've ever like eaten it. one of those. But you know We're what? We're going to buy them. Okay, wait. Have you ever seen the movie She Devil with no. Roseanne? Mm-mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, in that movie, when she's working in the nursing home, she brings out this box of pastries. And there is this cake, and it's layers. It's like chocolate cake and then green frosting, chocolate cake, red frosting, cup, chocolate green, chocolate red. And I wanted to eat that so bad, and it reminded me of those petty fours. Oh. And I imagined that they were so good. So I'm glad <laughs> that you told me they're not. <laughs> Uh, oh, if you've ever seen the movie She Devil, you'll know exactly what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> so I also looked up the complete retail marketing calendar for 24 and 25. Oh. I wanted to just kind of see what is in October. Yeah. So, and it would, that would have to be, um, it would have to be for retail, right? Yeah. So October 1st is International Coffee Day. Okay. Which I kind of saw it on some, but I didn't really. I can get behind that. I feel like because pumpkin spice is back. Yes. You know, yes. right. And there's also World Vegetarian Day. That's on October Why 1st. Why is that retail, though? That's not retail. Oh, th- duh. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Because That's there's weird. a Go Sober for October. It's called Stop Over. S- yeah, Sober right? October. That's the 1st through the 31st. Yeah, a lot of people and then do I, that. Of course, we know it's Breast Cancer and Black History yes. Month for the UK. So, um, and then. October 10th is World Mental Health Day. I feel like that's oh, very important when it comes good. to retail. Yes, yes. I was just well, talking because, with a friend and they, you know, I had some, we're going to talk about it on anxiety, yeah. what happened to me on Friday yeah. and Monday yeah. and some other stuff. And he looked at me and he goes, are you stressing out? And I'm like, it's got to be. Yeah. That's got to be what you it have is. Like a but major surgery go to anxiety coming. after this because, yeah, yeah we're, we're going to talk gonna about that. I was going to say National Mental Health Day because our seasonal depression is beginning. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It wasn't too bad last year it because wasn't. it stayed warmer in yes. the Midwest. But yeah. we, we never know. You I never know what's going to happen. Yeah. We try to fight it with like spooky time and mm-hmm. like all the fall yep. decor, and then that's over. And then it gets cold, and we just eat all the way through yep. November, January, February, oh, and yeah, December. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then January first, we feel terrible about ourselves and try to set these <laughs> New Year's resolutions. And then February, it's Valentine's Day, and you're like, "I'm just fat and alone." <laughs> <laughs> and you then, made me fat. Thanks then, for the chocolates. Yeah. And then spring comes, and you're like, "Life isn't so bad. <laughs> Let's start again." And then everyone's posting windows down, yeah. sunroof open. We're a whole bunch of nuts. I know. Uh, the October 16th, which is actually coming up, that's yes. next Wednesday, is World Food Day. Speaking of fat and one chocolates. Let's get it started. <laughs> Let's get it going. Wait, what about October 14th? Nothing there? Uh, that's my birthday. I know! <laughs> and Columbus Day. Yay! Every seven years I had my birthday off. Yeah. It was very lonely, actually, every seven oh. years. Yeah, Cause right, because I'd be, be home. School. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. think they even do that day anymore. Probably not. Or like he was a colonizer. We're not celebrating, <laughs> We're not celebrating him anymore. Now, although it's still in my calendar. <laughs> Is and it? yeah, it's my birthday. So. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. Yay. Yeah. Uh, the October 22nd is National Nut Day, so it's for all the men. <laughs> well, face. I was thinking crazy nut. <laughs> I remember tail. my uncle said, you see that over there? The that used nuts. to be the nut house, and I thought <laughs> of rooms full of nuts <laughs> that you oh, eat. Man. <laughs> I did not think crazy people lived there. Oh, man. October 25th <laughs> is World Pasta Day. I can get behind that. Uh, absolutely. I love pasta. What is your favorite pasta? What do you mean, what's what, my favorite? What type? Like cavatappi, oh. ravioli. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't I know. It's so I'm good. I'm on a mac and cheese cavatappi. Stop. Yeah. I love cavatappi for mac and cheese, yeah. but probably lasagna is my oh, favorite. Yeah. That is a good one. Yeah. That is a good one. Yeah. 
Uh, and then I don't think this will be a surprise for anyone, but October 26th is National Pumpkin Day. Ooh. And we all know that Illinois rocks yes. on the billions we of pounds of that. pumpkins. Yes. Uh, I don't know how this is retail, but October 29th is National Cat Day. I think it kind of goes with the Halloween theme, maybe. I feel like it should be National Black Cat Day. Yeah, true. Right? Yeah, very true. Very true. Yes, all cat lives matter. They do. They do. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, very, very, very true. And then obviously October 31st is Halloween, which is a very busy. I feel like Halloween is super busy because people are enjoying being something that they're not. Yeah. Right? So it's like you can be anything in the world that you want to be on October 31st and no one's going to question it. Yeah. I think that's why I love Halloween so much. Yeah. But then they know that that next day, if you put on a Christmas movie, ain't nobody going to question it. Yes. Put right? up a Christmas tree. You can do whatever yeah. you want on November 1st. It doesn't matter. I know a lot yeah. of people, they say wait until after Thanksgiving. But yeah. I just feel like that is the start of everything. Yeah. I like to have my tree up for Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 We do too. We do yeah. too. I feel like that that's the start of just everything. I feel like last year and the years past, I kind of, I would go like into town or something on November 1st and it would just feel like massive amounts of people yeah. were out and they were ready to yeah. get the holidays They're like, going. oh, I better start my Christmas shopping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which reminds me, this is the first year in a long time. Like, I'm not done with Christmas We were talking already. about that because I'm done with you and Bestie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not done with Christmas yet and it's giving me like anxiety about it. Yeah. You know, we were talking about Bestie's daughter. Her son's birthday's today. Yeah. And we're recording on his birthday. So happy birthday, boop. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I got. Is that it? That's all I got. So, can I tell you another funny story yeah. about today? <laughs> so, I'm in the produce department, like doing my thing, you know, just walking around. And, like, every time I go to take a picture or something, I notice a gentleman standing behind me. And I was like, oh, sorry. And then I'd like move over to another place and I'd be like, oh, sorry. Finally, the fourth time I was like, are you following me? Like, what is going on? And I noticed, no, he just had a produce bag open waiting to grab whatever like was right there next oh, to Oh my gosh. So then <laughs> I was like, man, I thought you were stalking me for a second. You know, we both laugh, whatever. And then this lady totally cuts me off, and she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I go, it's cool. I was in that guy's way, like, just five times just now. <laughs> oh, God. It's like my cart's in front of the oranges. He just wants one orange, like, so patiently Oh, my waiting. God. Wow. Yes. Not like the deli guy. No. Not like Absolutely the deli not. guy. Be, be nice and patient. Yeah. If you're grocery shopping during the day, I feel like you have all the time in the world. Yeah. It's probably your day off, or you don't work. The right? That's yeah. what I think, especially yeah. on a Tuesday. No yeah. one shops on a Tuesday. I always yeah. told Steve years and years for just from years of retail, Tuesday nights. Yeah. As long as you don't mind having some things out of stock from the weekend, right. Tuesday nights are the best nights to go. Don't tell our secret. Yeah. You know what? There is I nobody in the store. Monday nights. I felt like a it's lot probably of, very similar. A lot of single dudes yep. would come out Monday nights. And for uh yeah, right. Yeah. I, maybe I need to start. No, I'm just kidding. We would be like, Well, oh, look at that guy over there. <laughs> Steve would be like, Oh yeah, no, you're not leaving Monday. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, and I also feel like the sales were ending on Tuesday for yeah. where we worked. Everything started Wednesday. So, and yeah. cap, were, you know, they were changing and bunkers were changing. But I loved it. I loved yeah. it. Every Tuesday I would shop. Forget Nobody's the weekend. There. Nobody's there. You got sparkles in your eyeball. I do. I have like yeah. a, I think I have a glitter in my eyeball. So I yesterday I wore super glitter. Oh, from ColourPop? Yes. Mm -hmm. And... I, it's still on my face and I didn't even put any glitter on today. Oh, wow. wow and wow, it wow. was just how, so if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to get glitter off of you after you put it in your eyeshadow, yeah. <laughs> let me know. Because I was taking like makeup remover pads and like wiping my whole face with makeup remover and it like, I still had like clumps of it everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What do they call glitter like in the craft world? It's like the herpes of <laughs> right herpes something of like the, the herpes <laughs> of the craft world. Yeah, yeah, right? Isn't that something like that? <laughs> okay. happy, happy National Retail. Happy birthday to me on Monday. Everybody send Yay. me a, a message. <laughs> it's not a milestone. I'm 39. Forever <laughs> 39. <laughs> 
Oh gosh. All right. Go celebrate food day, pasta day, all that fun stuff. I yeah. think, I think the whole month of October should be retail day. I think we should all rest because November and December is crazy. It is. That's probably, Ew. that's probably why October is all this retail celebration stuff because they know how hard we work all day, every day, oh, and including like, November, December. Hey, get ready for the big rush with some volunteer work. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. This is kind of like volunteer work, entertaining people. Well, yeah, but I don't mind doing this. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways. I, on Tuesdays, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't wait home to go home and do nothing. I'm like, no, we're going to record. Yeah. Eh. Cool. I get excited for Tuesdays. Yeah, me too. Me it too, doesn't. Me too. Ma- it never matters how tired I am. I'm always like, oh well. It's about, Every once it's in about a while, five, we'll get the vibe and we'll both be well, like, what do you think? Wednesday night is better. How about yeah. Thursday at midnight? And then we push it back, and then we go, well, we regret that. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It never fails. If we push it off a of Tuesday, something happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then either we record Thursday night, and you're just or like, I don't, we don't. Even, I don't even care. I'm not editing this. I'm just putting it up. <laughs> or, yeah, we don't get an episode out at all. <laughs> <laughs> Which happened last week. Well, you know, work's been a little two stressful. Weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. It was busy. It's been busy. We can't help it. Nah, nah. We got lives, too. So, sorry if we let you down. Should we... <laughs> Should we go record for Anxiety Makes yeah. Me Poop? All right. Let's do Talk it. Talk to you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.